I was being exploited financially. Arif is alleging wage theft and intimidation. We're not using his real name because he says he fears reprisals. So I thought I could be easily deported by this company because they brought me here. The Indonesian national was hired as a painter for Concord painting and wall covering, working on the Royal Columbian and Lionsgate Memorial Hospital expansion projects. Arif claims he got paid 40 hours weekly but worked 50. Each paycheck, Arif made more than $1,700, seemingly not reflecting any overtime pay, and $1,055 deducted in rent while living with eight others. Arif says he was told room and board would be provided. I was promised 23 an hour, and I actually made 650 every two weeks. That works out to be about $8 an hour? Yeah, I think so. It is rampant for abuse, and I, I believe it's happening all over. The union representing BC painters got involved, helping Arif get $13,000 in unpaid overtime and getting Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada to change his work permit, allowing him to work elsewhere. There's a way out. And, and, and in addition to that, um, we want employers who are abusing these systems to know that there are penalties and, and you cannot get away scot-free. We went to Concord Painting. Motor Ma went agreed to an interview, but in an email, he denies the allegations and says Concord does not force workers to perform unpaid overtime work. If employees work overtime, they are paid time and a half, adding the company was always up front that accommodations, utilities, meals and transportation for work would be provided, but at fair market value. As for Arif's, he's now working for a different company, thanks to the union's help. I think I'm in a better situation now. I want others to feel like me. Angela Jung, Global News.